Right, so I'm in Tbilisi, Georgia, one of my favourite places to fly in the JAS-39, which has become one of my favourite aircraft to fly. So that's a good combo. As you can see, we're going to turn to the right after takeoff, head to the northeast, climb onto a plateau and look for two large irrigated fields. So let's get the show on the road, tow brakes on, wheel brake off, easing the throttle up. 50%, 60, tow brakes off. I'm going to give it a couple of notches of up trim. Watching the set line, coming up to 90%, we'll do a more power takeoff. That's more power. I'm going to rotate about 140. Climbing out. Gear up. Could have been smoother. And 250 knots, start manoeuvring, we're going to turn... Sigmund 007, continue for soft departure. Turn to heading. Mike into your golf Sigmund copy. Sigmund 007, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Mike into your golf copy. Tbilisi Tower, Migman 007, right on, so frequency change. As you can see, we're still turning to track. And it looks like there's sunlight over there, which is nice. Come right a bit more. I got a smoke on or what? Yeah, I did. Good thing I checked, eh? Right, and let's turn left to intercept the track. So there's a plateau coming up. Pretty low of clouds, actually. We'll be getting very close to them uh, on that ridge, but we'll see how we go. We could always go down into the valley earlier or climb above them. Um, got a few options in this aircraft. So the whole flight is 56 miles, not too long. It's a bit, so it's a mid-range flight in terms of length. Let's go to the left wing tip camp. Get a bit more light out there. It's 7.48 a.m. hence the uh, pretty glary uh, skyline. Slow down, come right a bit because uh, oh, power lines, power lines. I guess we're going to turn left over these um, ponds. So waypoint one and two are pretty much in a straight line. They are in a straight line. And I just made a note that uh, you've got to be, make sure you've climbed here too. You know. You're off the plane onto these ridges and straight ahead of us we can see the beautiful ponds yeah it's been a couple of years uh, i wish i had time to fly everywhere i wanted all the time but 250 odd countries in the uh, world tour you can do the math <laughs> one country a day uh, keeps you pretty busy for the year Right, now we've got a 90 degree left turn here, we're going to fly up this ridge you'll see coming up. So on a light aircraft you want to plan this a bit more carefully. So I might see if I can get a, um, that's a nice shot. Yeah, up that ridge to the left. So let's go up. And we're climbing up to the green patch on top where the trees have been cleared. It's waypoint three. Awesome. Beautiful. Then we follow the ridge for a while, about 8.7 miles actually. And descent into a valley, follow the valley down to the south, uh, we're left, sorry, and we're back in Tbilisi. Just put the camera left here. Yeah, so there's Tbilisi down there. We started over, over there. And yeah, there is cloud up here. So let's, uh, let's try to stay below it. 
hope we can see where we're going. Just it seems a marginal, but there we go. Uh, about 500 feet above the, the ground, and we, we can see. We can also see the valley off to the right, which we're going to descend into momentarily. And off to the left, you can see that large lake next to Tbilisi proper. I think that's it. Yes, it is. Um, right. If I just follow this ridge, it leads down into the valley, actually. It's pretty simple. Sitting on about 300 knots. Just a gradual descent now. Just above the trees there. Not a lot of light here this summer day, that's, uh, that's for sure. Alright, into the valley. Let's push it up. It's about 10 mile run without looking at the map. We can really get some uh, speed up here, going to 550 knots. Just stop short of the sound barrier because we've got a turn coming up. Okay, I'm going to climb to the right. Now we're looking for these large irrigated fields. I can see them. What three or four of them? Uh, about 11 o'clock. And there's an airfield uh, just beyond them. Super cool place. And the sunlight's conveniently come out. Oh, that's gorgeous. And we're going to go down through that valley. Fantastic. I just read my instructions. Uh, follow the. Yep, we pretty much follow the river now, all the way back. Takes us across the southern end of Tbilisi. Still under the clouds here, but you can see the sunlight coming out ahead. Watch the power lines there. Look at beautiful lakes. Awesome. Got a curve left here. this ridge but you could follow the river around the corner equally as well let's go to this camera back into the clouds again and we should see the river it's going to slow up now as we get back into town Shame it's so dark here at the moment, but that's all right. That's, uh, here's the river. I'll just cruise around the bottom of town, and then that, where that ridge comes down the right, there's Tbilisi Circus on the right there, and uh, we veer left at 30 degrees, pretty much back to the airport. Right about here. Right now, let's give them a bit of excitement down there. Power up. Channel 2. Should be tuned into it actually. 
actually. It's, uh, uh, channel 2. Ah, yes, another airport here I forgot about. That's, that's our last waypoint. And then our airport is right next to it on the plateau, rather confusingly. So yeah, that's our last waypoint, and it's right on the river. Maybe it got flooded too much, so they built a new one up here. Uh, tower. Channel 1. different frequency. Channel 1. Channel 1. Like India Golf 3. Tbilisi Tower Migman 007 is 2 miles northeast, 4,600 feet with Quebec to land. Migman 007 Tbilisi Tower. Altimeter 3 0 decimal 27 wind 083 at 4. Make right traffic runway one three right. One three one three. Okay. Uh, I'm in left track for, at the moment. Now, last time I landed here, I landed on that taxiway with the big X's on it too, which was uh, it wasn't that embarrassing. I just pretended I was doing a short landing demo and the vegan, the vegan gripper. Uh, like into your golf copy. Enter right traffic runway one three right. Migman zero zero seven. It's going to be left traffic, so let's turn to final, throttle back, out of marker, gears coming down, put some energy back in. Migman 007, wind 083 at 4, clear to land runway 13 right. Back into your golf copy. Clear to land runway 13 right, Migman 007. Maybe that differentiates it from, I don't know, I can't see one three left, but whatever. Uh, gears down, we've got three greens, fuel's good. Landing lights are on. Anti-ice is on. It's a nice 12 degrees here anyway. Let's get our head right in the HUD there. Um, don't mind landing too fast in this. It gets squirrely about 160. Alpha is within acceptable range. Is a middle marker. Power. Power. Bit of power, yes, and also flare. Uh, here we go, settling down. Pretty slow landing. Okay. Reverse thrust engaged. Throttle up. And amazingly, it stops on a dime. Incredible. Look at that. Reverse thrust off, throttle back. A taxi away, yeah. So there we go, it was uh, 30 minutes. Um, little 56 mile joint in the fast jet. Good hour or so. In, in a light aircraft. Like into your golf copy. Going to 119er decimal 0 Migman 007. So there we go, I'll go and park. And if the clouds dissipate a bit, I'll go and fly it over to Bleasy. Uh, I've got a flight plan for that too. I really want to check out the big lake in the middle of town. Excellent.